Hello and welcome to another Unity C Sharp tutorial. My name is Raja and in the last videos we have learned about public and private and I also told you guys that uh, there are some situations where we may have to access the private variables from the inspector and there are some ways by which we can access the private variables from the inspector. So that is what we're going to do in this video. So we're going to learn about something called serialized field. So if you see here, if you take a look at it here, here we have a private variable, private integer variable named a and as a property of private variables, this is not available in the inspector. So if you take a look at the script here, we cannot access that from the inspector. So we have to check it, we have to uh, put value inside it directly from the scripts. Now if we want to give it value from the directly, from directly the inspector, then we have to check some other mechanisms. So one way to do that is that within this square brackets we need to write serialized field make sure to capitalize it capitalize it properly otherwise it won't work now if we write serialized field above it then what will happen is this variable will be private this variable will remain private this will not become public but still we'll be able to see that in the inspector now if i go to the unity and as you can see, even if the variable is private, instead of that, we can access that variable here in the inspector and we can change its value from here. Right from here, we can change, give it any value we want. But it still remains private and we cannot access it from other scripts as we can do in private. Okay, so this is very, very important. So this was a very short video, but you will need this serialized field in a lot of places. So you can write it like this or we can also write it just before it. Before writing the variable you can write it like this and it will work too. As you can see it works too. Okay. So make sure to write it just before that or uh, just on the same line but before that. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day. I see the next video where we'll learn about uh, how we can hide the public variables. So see you in the next video.